Police also searching for the gunman behind the shooting in Brooklyn that injured an innocent bystander. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller spoke with the son of the victim and has more from Crown Heights. This is the second innocent bystander shot on this block in less than three months. This morning, I spoke with the victim's son who told me that bullet came within inches of his father's heart. He got shot close to the shoulder but in between the chest and the collarbone. Denzel Phillip told me his father, 55-year-old Desmond Phillip, is expected to make a full recovery after someone opened fire on his work van late Wednesday afternoon at Rochester Avenue and Eastern Parkway. It was two groups of kids that was like squaring off and um, one of them pulled out a gun and fired three shots and my dad, he was actually driving, going to get lunch, he told me, and then the window shattered and he said he didn't even know what happened. He pulled over the car and then he felt blood. These are surveillance photos of the alleged gunman after police say he ran into the Crown Heights Utica Avenue train station. He's described as a man in his 20s with a thin build, last seen in a gray hooded sweatshirt and a black North Face bubble jacket. Police say the gunman was aiming for someone else, and it's not the first time. On September 28th, a gunman shot and killed a 17 year old girl on this very same block. She, too, was an innocent bystander. We hear about the gun violence a lot, but like what is honestly being done about it? To me, I, I feel like nothing's really done. It's getting worse and worse, and it's getting young. It's starting younger and younger. And police are still looking for the gunman in this latest shooting. They're asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. 1-800-577-TIPS.